performance that, that people are going to be totally blown away by on a mobile device. And the cache you want from all web pages are just the most popular ones? Uh, all web pages. So, uh, the, de the degree to which some of our techniques work varies based on the popularity. So, like, this, like another good example, the CNN logo hasn't changed in forever, right? And, and so it has a very long cache expiration date on it. That thing will be sitting on the EC2 server ready to go, ready to be pushed down as soon as we see a request for the CNN homepage. We don't even wait for the response to come back. Uh, more dynamic images, that's where we benefit from some of that on-the-fly content compression uh, that we do. Uh, Obviously, as well as the visible images, things like JavaScript and cascading style sheets benefit a lot from that on-the-fly compression as well. So there's a lot of sort of invisible content on this page that also benefits from those techniques. Is straight? Is there any timeline for the release of the 3G? Uh, so we're not, uh, I certainly can't comment on the 3G version. Uh, they might be able to talk over there. Uh, right now, what we're focused on is just this Wi-Fi version. So. It's straight HTTP between. Ah. Uh, good question. Between EC2 and the origin sites, it is straight HTTP. Between this device and EC2 is not HTTP. So what we found is that uh, HTTP, it's a great protocol for many things. Uh, it's not the most efficient of protocols, however, for the modern web. So what we've implemented is a, a new protocol at that layer. Um, it's actually based upon uh, Google's Speedy protocol, if you're at all familiar with that. Uh, it's on the web. Uh, but it's... It, uh, HTTP is deficient in a couple specific ways. One is uh, it doesn't multiplex content well. So it's 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 hard to get a bi-directional flow of 